God promises that no weapon will form against God's people will prosper. In some cases, God will destroy this weapon quickly, but in some cases, God will delay. He will let this weapon hurt us, but at the same time, these setbacks will bring glory to God's name. In any case, these weapons will not prosper forever. In today's case, God has put his hand out and protected Paul from an evil plan. Three things I've learned. They're plots against God's people. Jesus promised Paul that he will represent him in Rome. However, there were 40 men that make a vow they will not eat or drink until they have killed Paul. This secret plot, however, was leaked to Paul's nephew, Paul's nephew told Paul, and Paul in turn asked him to bring this secret to the Roman commander. There is no secret. God is in charge of it, and God had his plan to destroy these evil plans. The second thing I've learned is God will protect his people. The Roman commander does not despise uh, Paul's nephew's secret plot. He commanded 470 trained men along with horses, protect Paul at the same time. So Paul safely leave Rome, uh, leave Jerusalem and arrive safely to Caesarea. The plot of the assassins failed miserably. It's as if God is saying to Paul in an exaggerated way that I'll protect you because my word will be fulfilled. The third thing I've learned is After Paul had left and arrived in Caesarea, it fulfilled God's promise to him 20 years ago that he would appear before kings and uh, governors. And uh, the Roman commander also wrote a letter of introduction about Paul, a very important letter, introducing him as a Roman citizen that needs protection. And the second thing is, in his assessment, he did not deserve death sentence, or even in chain. My application today is, it's comforting to know that God protect his people. If we don't know God protect us, we're living in fear every day. God loves us, but he also wants us to act proactively in wisdom, so we should not uh, just say passively that we're in those circumstances. Like Paul, he knew about the plot and reported it quickly. And God's hand will lay upon us if we do the right thing. Therefore, we need to take our opportunities quickly and to bring glory to God in whatever circumstances we're we're in. My prayer today is, Father, we thank you for your protection. Help us live in confidence each day that you protected us so that we can boldly proclaim your name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.